All right, the next drill is our shock and lock drill. This is our first block destruction drill. This is how we get off of blocks where uh, we're right in the, the, the thick of things and we don't know where the runner is going to go yet. Uh, so we have to go through blockers instead of just past them. We don't want to just shed a guy too early and let the, the runner pick the other side. So we want to uh, replace his feet. We always say replace his feet, shock and lock. So we want to shoot our hands so that our arms are, are locked out. We want to shock him so that he, he blinks. We always say to make him blink. That's what the shock part is. So shock, lock, and replace his feet. We want to drive him just enough so that our feet end up where his are. So basically we're driving him back a yard so that he's off balance. And then we follow it up with a rag doll or a, a pull and a wipe and a pull and a rip. But we want to replace him first. So the way the drill works, uh, the bag holders will actually be holding the bags here. They won't have their hands on top. They'll, have, they'll be holding the bags. And sometimes we don't even use bags. We let the kids just hit uh, each other so they can, they can feel it and get, get a simulation for hitting the, the breastplate and the shoulder pads and, and driving them in. So same deal. They're going to hit uh, the bag. They're going to replace his feet, and they're going to shed them. We don't really tell them which side to go to. We let them practice left and right. We let them practice just like in form tackle. They could set themselves up to the left, or they could set themselves up to the right. They can practice coming at it in different angles and getting over the top of blocks and, and all that. But really, it's all the same idea. I want to shock and lock. I want to knock the bag back, and then I get off it, and I shed the bag. Once that happens, this man that used to hold the bag is going to get to the end of the line. He's going to hand off the, the bag to the man that just went so that we can keep the flow going. Again, we don't go on coaches' whistles. We say go. We want the kids to get a bunch of reps so that the coach can walk around and find any major issues. Uh, not a ton of feedback all the time. We just keep saying a lot of the same cues, and we'll pull a kid aside if he's having a lot of trouble. So that's our shock and lock drill.